Okay, I think we should be live now. Okay. Hello, parents. Uh, thanks for being so patient with us. And this is Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box. And today we have a very special guest. And today we are not going to talk about math at all. And I hope it's something that is interesting to all the mummies as well as some daddies here. And in and today's guest is Linda Lee, and she's the founder of Linda Lino Makeup and also an ex ambassador. And she has also personally worked with numerous celebrities profiles as well as famous TV anchors. Hello, Linda. Hi. Hi, John. Hi, Linda. Nice thanks, for, thanks, thanks, thanks for this uh, because it's one of our very first time trying to match makeup to math. And the reason why I want to do this is because as a husband, I am really interested to know what is going on um, in the makeup um, space of my wife. Yeah, because whenever I accompany her to the, to the cosmetic counter, I can see this buffet line of stuff that I think as a man, I have no idea what is it. And I don't know why it takes so much time for a lady to, to look through so many things. So would you be able to share with us some backstory of yours and then you can share with us what are some of the important makeup tips that is essential for mummies? Uh, okay, maybe I'll, I'll just start with a basic quick introduction of myself. Uh, I migrated here when I was eight uh, from Hong Kong. So I grew up here, um, majored in art. I studied fashion as a designer for a year. And uh, and then I flew with SQ. That's where I start with my grooming venture. And from there, I also went to learn um, hair and makeup separately from different uh, specialized schools. And I've been doing makeup for the past five years um, intensively Monday to Friday commercials print ads as you can see like for Changi Airport um, on the buses um, MRT stations and uh, also on the weekend would be weddings so oh. yeah it's always like back to back and uh, regarding the makeup just now John mentioned uh, in the makeup uh, stores uh, example Sephora, the huge varieties of products. I mean, like makeup is like a billion dollar industries and everything we were, we're always spoiled with options, the more the merrier. The truth is, um, personally, I would find that a lot of products are actually replicate, duplicated. Um, mm -hmm. Something extra for you to actually spend, spend more money on. Yeah, to put it simply. So, um, a lot of my own students, um, they would ask me, I do teach private classes, yes. Um, not professional classes yet, just private. So mm -hmm. my private students, they will um, ask things like, um, Linda, when I go into a, a grand store, I don't know where to start from. And it's so intimidating. Uh, the thing is, usually in my class, I would just teach like, what are the basic things you need? The truth is you don't need a lot of products. Yeah, so uh, for a quick everyday, day-to-day -day makeup, it can be really quick. Mm. So as a guy, um, I and I think that I'm coming in as a guy who, know not, who knows nothing about makeup. Yeah, and I remember that there are some like different um, things like foundation, uh, then makeup. Uh. You see, I don't know much. I don't know much, yeah. So would you be able to help to educate the guys here or the dads who are watching this? Uh, yeah, uh, we usually we do have foundation and um, actually a lot of mistake that people usually make uh, a lot of girls because they want to save time, they end mm -hmm. up with press powder, you can see it's something like this, this kind of press powder um, okay. to the, the makeup on their face in a hurry without any form of liquid foundation, mm -hmm. then uh, just putting on powder, um, it gets very cakey. And it makes your face even more oily over over the, the the hours halfway through the day. You will realize that you would need to touch up more and more often, and your face is even more oily because our body is very smart. They will feel that, hey, um, my face is very dry. I shall produce more oil to actually um, moisturize the face to protect the face. So mm -hmm. um, the the 
great thing is we should opt for like BB cream, CC cream, and there's also a few um, very affordable brands. Personally, I would like um, things like even Maybelline, actually. Even Maybelline, um, it has this super BB that is great coverage, SPF 50. So I combined sunscreen and the BB cream together. So it's just mm -hmm. a one step. So mm -hmm. yeah, save some time here. Coverage is great. And um, a lot of BB cream has a pink tone in it. Uh, most Korean girls, they are cool tone. So a lot of BB cream are actually available in cool tone. So it will have this pinkish ash look on a lot of Asian, um, Korean, Southeast Asian girls, which uh, at the end of the day, we'll find, oh my gosh, she looks so ashy. She looks tired and gray. But um, actually, we are warm tone. So it's great to find a BB cream that has a warm shade, which is yellow, um, very suitable for us. Um, most of my brights are pretty much around this um, fair shade, 01 fair shade. Or another I would love is the uh, It's Cosmetic. Yeah. Whoa. What what is this? It's cosmetic. It's also a it's a CC cream. It's called it's called it's color corrector. So it basically corrects all the color de uh, decoloration on the face. And it's also a one step. This is it has great hydrating anti-aging concealer plus sunscreen. So um my my face is always very dewy after mm -hmm. I like this. Um and all I do is for, um, as of course, as me becoming more mature over the mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. I do it's like the less, less is more. It's not like the more powder you, you, you pound on your face, actually the worse it looks. It enhances any form of fine lines or cracks that you know I might have. And uh, what I would do is once I have the CC cream on, I'll just have the concealer and I would just use loose powder, always use loose powder. I, mm, it's much lighter using a much more fluffier brush like mm -hmm. this, which picks up the right amount of powder. So um, it won't be too cakey underneath your eyes. And that would be the only area that I put on um, powder. The rest of the place, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it um, because usually a good foundation, it would sit quite nicely. Yeah. And um, what else? Oh, uh, before this step, the skin prep. Um, many of us would think that the more moisturized our skin is, the better. So we use very, very rich moisturizing lotion as a base before we put on makeup. But... Um, for those very rich and creamy um, skincare products, I would mm -hmm. recommend to use them at night. Um, mm -hmm. In the daytime in Singapore, because Singapore weather is very humid, depending mm -hmm. majority of your time, if it's outdoor or indoor, then your makeup and skincare routine might, might be first likely. Yeah, so if you're outdoor where it's very um, humid and hot, yeah, use lighter um, gel-like moisturizers and even foundation um, and as little powder as possible because um, when you're outdoor most of the time, when you repeatedly touch up with powder, that's where you will start to see like train tracks, you know, when you perspire and that's very hard to touch up after. Then if you're in the aircon room in an mm -hmm. office all day, yes, rich, richer um, moisturizers and you can use a tad bit more powder, but not too much because it's dry in the aircon room. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. And a quick question because nowadays you realize that most of us have to, oh, okay, not most, all of us have to wear masks. Yeah. So how, how does it affect the, the makeup routine of a lady? Uh, it, I, for me personally, I will just go without contouring because contouring will be around the jaw, this kind of area mm -hmm. where the mask is. So um, even though there are many bloggers, vloggers, or some makeup artists who are saying, oh, we have this method, we're going to use translucent powder to go over mm -hmm. so that the makeup, the foundation don't transfer onto the mask. But be it transfer or not, the makeup is actually on our skin and it's been rubbing on on our face the whole day with the mask. So mm -hmm. it cause outbreak. 
and very easily. So my advice is you just put makeup, and, oh, sorry, sun, um, skincare and a bit of sunscreen if you want. If you can avoid, try to avoid putting um, too much makeup below, as little as possible. So maybe you can start around here and then the remaining you just blend down. Do not add any more. Yeah, mm -hmm. even for lipstick, uh, for lipstick is good to go for uh, some lip balm um, that gives you a bit of a tint. There's many um, such lip balms available out there. Uh, or people who like very vibrant colors, there's also uh, lip stains, tattoo stains. Like um, personally, I like one from uh, YSL. YSL it's a um, matte contour tattoo stain. So it, it available mm -hmm. in many different colors. It doesn't transfer, but mm -hmm. it's also very hard to wash off. Oh, yeah. How, how to wash off? As in, how does it work? Because okay. Because you have to bear with me because I know nuts about all this. And for yeah. a and for a guy, I thought you, you know when we wash face, right? You just like take a bit of the cleanser and the water and then just piak and then and that's it. Yes. So um, yes. That? Usually it's actually very tedious. Um also many of my students they would say, Linda, it's so hard to wash off at night. So I will go as minimal as possible. I will skip the mascara. I will perhaps skip the eyeliner because they are the hardest to wash off. But the thing is if you have a very good makeup remover, you wouldn't go through any of such fuss or trouble. Uh and that's a great news. Um I'm not sure if any of your heard of Vanilla, Vanilla and Co. Uh, they are the top famous Korean brand, and we are actually bringing it in. The amazing face wash is it's the best, like among all I've tried so far. Because I love using um, waterproof mascara to actually hold the curls for my lashes. It's a great trick because um, non-waterproof mascara will make your lashes bleep after you curl them, so it's pretty pointless. But waterproof mascara tends to um, be hard to wash off and this brand heroin even I bought the um, remover the same brand the one that they designed um, I still had a hard time removing I have to wash like two three rounds yeah and I had to really rub my eyes and it's really harsh for the delicate skin around the eyes um, and when I tried this um, Zero, zero series from Vanilla. Uh, I was really, really impressed. Basically one step, dry face, dry hands, just rub it, rinse off with warm water, and that's mm -hmm. it. Your face, facial cleansing, the super many step, it's just one step. Removing and washing at the same time saves you, saves your precious time again. <laughs> yeah, so nowadays I put on mascara a lot more often because to me, Removing makeup is a breeze. It's no longer an excuse for people not to put on makeup because it's so easy. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, I think uh, because you know that we are, we have this uh, math Facebook group for parents and we are actually inside one of, uh, in the group. And to the parents, there are many misconceptions to doing math. But so when it comes to makeup, um, what are the common misconceptions that you have experienced? A uh, common misconception is basically uh, the thicker the eyeliner, uh, the bigger the eyes will look. The truth is the thicker the eyeliner, the smaller your eyes will look actually. It would look very framed up and harsh. And even when you have a double eyelid, a lot of Asian girls have like um, uh, low fold and mm -hmm. when you raise the eyeliner really high up, actually it connects with that fold and they suddenly look like um, they are having monolids. And monolids, sorry, monolids. Monolids, yes. Instead oh. of having, enhancing the, eye, um, the fold. So what we actually do to enhance the fold is to do uh, tight lining, which is beneath, uh, beneath our lashes. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I, I brought my liner down. I mean, it's not, not very, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so if it's personal uh, classes, I would demonstrate and also let my student try out like one-to-one. -one. So, yeah, so with this 
without I did not draw any liner above my lash. So what you'll see now is only underneath. Yeah, it enhances very well. And uh, other misconception is oh, uh, brows. Um, nowadays there's a lot of trends like uh, um, from China. There is this swap brows. You can see it's as if it's so hard like a knife on your face. Sword or, brow, wow. Yeah, I call it sword. It's so long and sharp. Uh -huh. like you can, yeah, you can go to war with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and there's another one. It's uh, 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 like a puppy set kind of uh, brows that makes you mm -hmm. look innocent. Or um, overly thin brows. There's mm -hmm. different things, different trends. And a lot of people do makeup thinking that, oh, I want to look that way. I want to follow this trend. But mm -hmm. the truth is it, it doesn't match everyone. Not everyone can carry it off. And I personally find that the shape that we are given by, you know, by our parents genetically mm -hmm. matches mm -hmm. us the best. And usually when I trim the brows for my brides or for my profiles, I try to keep their natural shape and uh, just remove the excess and not to change the shape. Yeah, I think the biggest mistake is to change it, trying to look like someone else that you're not. Yeah. And also for lips, um, we do have additional layer of um, skin outside. So our lip tone might not extend all the way up to the edge of our lips. It's always end a little bit inside. So a lot of people just think that, oh, the lipstick I'll apply within and just follow the color. But we should be actually touching the extreme edge of our lips so that it looks fuller because the thinner it looks, um, it makes you age. Um, it's a natural aging process. As we age, our mm -hmm. lips become thinner. So what I always try to achieve is bring it out a little bit. You will look mm -hmm. great like with a very round smile much more pleasant and balanced. Yeah. It's, it's, in, it's interesting because, um, okay, right now I, I'm i seeing myself as a primary one kid trying to learn from teacher Linda what are the important makeup aspects for my wife. Yeah, so I'm hearing that um, when you put on lips, lipsticks, you have to put on until the edge of the lips and beyond is it? Not, not really beyond, but... <laughs> Okay, slightly, slightly like to the edge, the extreme edge. Ah. But our our lip tone only ends like somewhere inside, not all the way to the end. So uh, that's why a lot of people make the mistake by just coloring it way inside. I like see. Wow. And outside. But my what I'm having here, I did a bit of a cupid bow highlight. Yes. A bit of perky lips effect. I see. Yeah. Oh, wow, there's, there's so much to learn. And I think that if you give me a test on doing makeup right now, uh, I will fail. Yeah, I'm going to fail <laughs> very badly. Just just, uh, just like how uh, math to some kids are really hard. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. And even, I guess, uh, the teacher makes a lot of difference. Personally, I feel, yes. Uh, I To me, math, I've been clueless because i am more art you know the left right brain thing i'm, I'm mm. creative and to me numbers if you tell me something like i will just blank out i just look at you and i give up i'll be like uh okay just tell me the answer so for the longest time i have no idea what is going on i believe that i'm not good at it um uh, until um secondary one i was you know uh, <laughs> you know, oh, kind of the comic. Yes, yes, yes. I was actually reading it under the table until my, my teacher always had to put, call me and he, he purposely asked me a question that obviously I don't know. Then I will stand for the rest of the class. And when I was in sec 2, I tried to catch up. But then I realized that I'm, I'm lacking way behind. That mm -hmm. I, I cannot understand. There's no way. I try to listen in class, but I have no clue. Um, all the way until secondary four during my O level. Mm -hmm. That was when my because even math is so important. Like we can actually uh we can actually fail English, we cannot fail math, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. So I'm uh, not sure about that. Yeah, but I feel my English. <laughs> Maths, no way. You cannot. It's a, it's a big no-no. The lowest is uh, C, C7. Yeah. Anything below, you get a D, you're gone. So my mom got me a children teacher, um, secondary four. So in three months, he's a great teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I am very, very thankful. That's why I realized that actually a great teacher, a great coach makes all the difference. He got my attention. He, because when you're a master at something, you're able to explain it simply. That is what I believe. Yeah, you simplify things instead of teaching it complicatedly. So I, I did a lot of um, uh, exercise and stuff. So I jumped from F9 throughout my secondary school history. It's always F9. Well, amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, till B3. Mm. Uh, level in three wow. months. Yeah. yeah. And, and and I guess that uh what whatever had happened is already in the past and I'm looking at your Instagram right now. Mm -hmm. And I have I mean I'm really amazed by all the work that you have done. And these are only people who are creatively talented uh can do it. Yeah, so let me just do a share screen uh to Linda's um Instagram. Probably you can just share with us a bit more. Yeah, because I really want to know more. And I remember that um my wife actually gave me some questions to ask because she's not free right now. <laughs> yeah. Free. I welcome questions. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, tell us about this. This oh okay, this is me. Okay. <laughs> so um corner, because I can't seem to navigate. Oh, tell us about this because I realized that um okay, now can you see? The, the mask photo that you took? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, and my question is because uh, nowadays, because all parents, all mummies have to wear masks. So, so I thought that we can cover a bit more on the essential makeup tips and tricks for, for, for working mums. Um, and even if the mummy doesn't go to office, nowadays there are so many Zoom meetings. And I think um, as professionals, we still want to look presentable, at least uh, on our face. Yeah. So, so what are the things that you can touch on with, um, from this experience? Uh, from, for wearing masks, basically, uh, so far I find it's uh, very crucial to, to emphasize the look on our eyes. Mm -hmm. the eye makeup, uh, because eye is like the window to our souls. Um, uh, we can, personally, I... I find that lashes makes the whole difference um, with and without lashes because whenever I do my makeup, even I do my whole face, all the way until my lash, if I don't complete my lash, I don't feel that it's complete. It doesn't look complete. So mm. um, sometimes I might just skip the rest of the step, just conceal my eye ring and I proceed right to my, my lashes, curling and putting on mascara. So a lot of people will say, oh, um, wearing mask it's very I have no time to go for lash extension and, and so on and so forth that's where I here to also introduce a product it's called X Lash um, mm -hmm. I think it's a great and wonderful I've been using it for over two years now I never turn back I recommend to all my friends and um, their lashes grow within two weeks to one month and you see a whole lot of difference your eyes actually almost double the size when you curl and you put on mascara up and down. A lot of us actually neglect our lashes below. So I think it's great to put below. And also our eyeliner, there's an angle to put it. Some um, some ladies, they have eyes that are a little bit more um, droopy downwards on the sides and um, they follow the upper lid and they draw out the liner instead. But it makes them look a lot actually more mature, um, add on a few more years. The mm -hmm. right way is actually to follow your lower eye angle where it ends. Okay, okay so let me stop sharing first, uh, and then so that you can come on screen, at, um, come onto a full screen, so the parents can see your demonstration. Oh. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, good. Yes, ready to start. Oh yeah, uh, about drawing the eyeliner. Yes. So, this for me, my, my front and my ends, my end ends a bit higher. It's more the, the, the they call it the phoenix almond eye. So I, I would like to usually balance up by bringing it like that. So it 
is actually still slightly higher than my front point. So a lot of people, they draw their eyeliner following the upper lid direction and then they bring it downwards, this angle. But the right way is actually to follow your lower eye, mm -hmm. the angle, and then you bring it up. Yes. So if I follow my own angle, I will get a very um, uh, more flirtatious look if I do my eyeliner that angle. So okay. if I look a little bit innocent, I'll bring it down a little. So even the angle of your eyeliner gives you a different feel. Yeah, how you draw your brows, like if I feel more sexy, feel more a certain way, I would bring up my arch more, like to this kind of pattern, you know. If I feel innocent, I would draw them a little bit straighter, but not a lot, and still mm. embrace my natural brow shape. So I would look a bit more. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening, but yeah, don't believe me. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. A lot it of seems, and it seems like there's there are, there are different ways to draw depending on what mood you yes. want to bring across. Yes. Like in the Victorian era, in the Victorian century, in the 18th century, um, sorry, 17th century, uh, women were used to put on mole on their face, a different part of their face, uh, depending on how they feel on that day. Like example, if I'm feeling flirtatious, I will have one over here. If I'm feeling shy, I have something over here. Yeah, so they send out different messages, even via transforming the face, which is a neat change. Yeah. Uh, we have a, a lady here, um, also a very good friend of mine. Hi, Olive. And she's asking, what's the best way to make up for online meetings? And I know why she asked, because she is an uh, she teaches English online. Yeah, so uh, as a teacher, we also want to look presentable. Mm. Uh, the quickest way to look presentable is actually your hair. Yes. Uh, hair. It, yes, it transforms you in seconds. So um, personally, I like to use something like that. Uh, you know, Lucido, Lucido uh, brand. So it, it's this kind of mousse very very light uh very light in texture so uh it takes down all your baby hair in in a very quick few minutes once you get your hair neaten up you look a lot more presentable followed by a concealer sometimes you don't even need um if you're using a zoom you can actually go to the setting and choose the touch me up it will help you slightly and then all you need to do is conceal your under eye ring and eyeliner if you want things to be really quick within five minutes but if you have some time of course curl your lashes some uh, mascara and your brows of course um, lastly is your lipstick yes any other tips like uh, i heard you mentioned about the hair would you be able to show me like what exactly do you do with your hair with the cream yeah because it's also my first time seeing it yeah, oh. so i also want to know more Probably that's what the parents are asking. So, what do you mean by the hair? So, uh, I usually will will take a small, like maybe a a twenty cent or fifty cent size. Then I'll rub it on my on my palms, and then I'll go through and, and ah. touch the face, and I press down because we do have a lot of flyaways and baby hairs, and it tends to look um, it tends to be very scattered if we don't have a, a bit of a product on them. So it's just going all over the place. So um, it's a great way to add a hint of shine, not too shiny. And uh, it just makes it a bit more manageable. It will stay in place better. Yeah. Uh, that is the look I would prefer. But if you prefer even more, example for my fringe right now, I do have to use a bit of hairspray to, to hold them. If not, um, I might have a bit of gap. You know, yeah, always is like SQ training, SQ center. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't like to see gap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they 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 disallow gaps to be seen. Uh, it, it's also me personal uh, standard. I'm a bit more yeah, perfectionist. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wonderful, and I hope uh Linda had answered all the question. And if you have any question, uh, please feel feel free to ask again. Yeah. What about um? <laughs> Like nowadays, because I still believe that um some of the some some of the parents may be very used to some makeup routine. 
before the mask era where they do not need to wear mask and now they need to wear a mask. What are some of the, the tips and tricks that probably you know experience can share with parents? Like probably something they can use or maybe you can use other brands or or whatever it is that's helpful. Uh can't use I would say um all can use for foundation and powder, but I personally I prevent using too much blusher because uh when if you remove the mask, if you have some kind of lipstick, lip stain on, you will look good enough. You don't need to have both things going on because if you apply another layer of blusher, you will be even more prone to outbreaks because there's another layer of chemical on your face. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, we you should never skip the primer step. Uh, primer is what that holds your makeup in place, makes it more durable, and also protects your face as a form of a, a layer of barrier from all the chemicals. And uh, for lipstick wise, uh, get something uh, a little bit more matte. It could be, I personally, I actually like uh, this Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte color so i would use this it says like cream lip stain here so look for things that has staining result the word stain and matte but if they're too dry you can use it as a base first and then you mix with um some setting finishing the word keyword satin so s-a-t-i-n-e yes s-a-t-i-n so it gives your lips a little bit more moisture, but not too much because like lip gloss and all is definitely a no-no. It would definitely um, soak through the three plies of masks. So if you want something on your lips, make sure it's matte. But if the matte is too dry for you, just use a little bit of satin finish uh, lipstick to top up on top of that to layer. So you have very long lasting lipstick throughout the day without much transfer of Wonderful. And the last trick, if you still don't, if you, example, if you don't have the matte lip stain, um, just the satin lipstick, you can use a piece of tissue, divide it into two pieces, take a thin layer, put it over your lips, and use a brush to dab on some translucent loose powder or any form of loose powder, and brush it over, brush it over the tissue. So you have a very thin layer of powder on your lips. That helps to mattify and makes your lips more durable. That's a good trick. Yeah, these are, I think, to guys, these are like hacks. Yeah, these are hacks, correct. These are hacks. And another hacks I can share uh, is a common uh, frustration for a lot of girls. Uh, example, when you apply mascara halfway and you accidentally touch your top of your eyelid or the bottom, and a lot of girls, what they would do is they would immediately rush to try to rub it off. And when they try to rub it off, it actually smudges even more. It spreads, it destroys your foundation. What you can do is just ignore it. Proceed on to the other side of your eye, upper lower lash. Once you're done, when the little patch is dried up, 100% dried up, then you use a, a brush... Uh, of any sort from your from your brow pencil, this kind of brush, you can go back to just flick it. It will come off like a piece of little sticker. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's one trick. Um, what else? Uh, eyeliner. Yes. A lot of uh, ladies uh, struggle with having like a, a pointy nice eyeliner shops like Linda I couldn't get this pointy ends it's so hard it's always blonde and and round my tip one way to do it is actually use the concealer brush which is quite uh which is quite sharp and is very stiff so I use this and use a bit of water based makeup remover water base yeah then I spray it on my back of my hand my palm or on a metal plate or mixing color, dab it, and then I go back to this tip to push out to make it sharp. Yeah, so this kind of pointy ends become very easy to achieve. You can correct and adjust it just like that. Yeah. 
Wonderful. And it seems like there are so many steps. And in fact, uh, probably it takes a lot of patience from the lady to do it properly. And I was and I always believe that um uh and our okay, and I feel that I believe that my wife also put a lot of emphasis on the makeup to make the husband look well, look good in a sense. Yeah. So what are some of the things that uh, as a husband we can say? Because sometimes you know. Uh, we can be quite impatient and then sometimes we ask why are you taking so much time to do the makeup? So what are some of the things that uh, a wife would want to hear from the husband? Oh, what they would like to hear. <laughs> yeah, or what would a lady wants to hear? Because sometimes, you know, guys are like myself, or sometimes I get too impatient, uh, I am see the wrong thing, or even if I say, hurry up! Uh, can see red, red flag already. Yeah. So what are some of the nice things that as a husband I can learn to say, say to my wife? I would say if I'm the wife, I would love that my husband being very, very sincere come towards me and say things like, you know, I love you the way you look. Yes. And um, it would be, um, I'm still here, you know, if you need to take your time to do your makeup. Yeah, so don't worry about me. <laughs> that is where that I got super guilt trip. I'll speed up. <laughs> but if my husband come and be very impatient with me, I thought I will feel that um, I don't feel loved. And then in return, I will not think for him. But if he comes with, you know, an open heart, being very loving, like, take your time, I'm here, like that, then... Yeah, I was beat up. <laughs> yes. Does it really work if a guy goes to the wife and say, I really love the way you, the, uh, how you look? Mm. And will this stop the wife from doing any more makeup and help a guy save money? Save money? <laughs> uh, the truth is actually makeup, if you if you done it right, it's not expensive. Yeah, it's mm. a lot of time people are shopping for a lot of different products due to like, Oh, awesome packaging, uh, uh, the, the new feeling of they're not sure actually, oh, I need all these products that's being advertised and marketed to, to all of us. Uh, if they know how to use things right, they will skip a lot of um, other unnecessary things. And uh, it's actually good to encourage ladies, I find, to, to do makeup um, every day if possible, but minimal, just uh, the right amount. Definitely not the full blown, um, full set eyeshadow and all, but uh, daily makeup very basic. I think is is quite a good thing because they can practice. They get faster when they you know practice daily because if once in a blue moon when they go out, then they put on makeup is going to take very long. Yeah, because everything lots of correction going back and forth, then they don't feel like themselves because usually if they don't put suddenly they put they just. They just can't get used to it and just don't feel like themselves and that's what's gonna take extra long mm. wonderful yeah at the same time uh i would like to go back to your instagram because you and you mentioned that uh in your instagram you do share many beauty tips that uh parents can easily use okay yes. um i'm very new to all this as i mentioned so i'm the child learning from you who is a teacher right now. Yeah, please bring me through like what, where, where are the, the, the tabs to the, click on for beauty tips? Um, the tabs to tick on for, okay. I, it's on the right side. Usually I share it in my stories, ah. which is on the upper left, you can see in my logo. But on the highlights, you can see below, there's also makeup tips, which I've done some of them. Um, uh, is it here? Yes. Uh, I've done some okay. time back, but I ended up doing more of a private okay. classes in the end. But I do share once in a while on my Instagram page randomly, you can see. Mm, and also I do have a, this is more for work with different things 
as you can see, I, I do paint um, and draw. I shared mm -hmm. like, how to trim your fringe during CV. Everybody was very frustrated how to do that. Uh, and also sometimes the mask makeup, the eyeshadow, what kind of style and color I went for. Uh, and even uh, further below will be some other works here and there. But if y'all would like a uh, very uh, focused, um, how to say, content, there's also another one which is uh, on my bio, on this Instagram page, on my bio. On your bio, is it? Sorry, I'm not. Uh, not sure how to use Instagram. So what's your bio? Is it? Is it here? And yes, it's actually uh, where say, my life, Linda Lee, with love. Okay, would you, uh, is your Instagram on? Probably you can bring us through your Instagram instead and you share screen. I think it's better for the parents so that it's easier for you to navigate. Okay. Because mm. yeah, I, I, I really like your page because I think that you have lots of experience. And among our community, uh, we have mummies from all walks of life and they are in different careers. Yeah, so I think that you also have, have worked with many professionals as well. And I thought your tips can really benefit them. Yes, um, some of my, my, my students- Are you able to share screen? Um, how do I, I'm sorry, I'm just not very- it, It's okay, it's okay, hold on. Uh, um, and then yeah. screen. I put the one in the middle. Okay, let me just do a quick sharing on screen. Okay, I, I have allowed you to share screen. Yeah, you should share screen. Um, yeah, you, you click on share screen and then you can go to your browser. Yeah, so in the meantime, while Linda is uh, trying to share her screen, uh, because I thought that there are many mummies right now who are watching, so I thought that uh, since you are here with us and we really appreciate your time with us. Uh, so, so I really hope that you can benefit as much as, as, as possible from, from this. Ultimately, we are, we are uh, in a community. Yeah, so Linda, you go to your Instagram. You go to your Instagram. Yeah, because this one is, uh, you go to your Instagram page. Yeah, so parents, uh, if you are online with us right now, uh, do sh you can ask any question because the reason why I brought Linda up is she has a very wide range of experiences working with many professionals. So I thought uh, if you have any question, you can just ask and she can just tell you what to do. Yes, uh, I, I do um, public speaking and uh, as you can see here, uh, to share for <laughs> different events. And um, we also have one at Marina Square. Um, so I'll do fresh demo. And I also endorse a X Lash, um, Lash Growth product. This is one of the ladies who actually learned from me on the spot. And this is for actually um, health promotion board too, um, sharing with other professional ladies um, from all walks of life who are interested in both health, mental health, and makeup. And uh, yeah, this one is you. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. Yeah, I have a picture in your Instagram. Yes. Uh, and uh, I also have a bigger class for. Um, currently, I'm holding a class of. <laughs> but they're, they're having fun. <laughs> but yes, it's yes. Like a, yeah, it's fun time. Um, this is another um, class in an office tower at um, Shenton Way with um, this lady who owns the law firm. So she's one of my very hardworking um, students. Mm -hmm. She basically, she learned from me and then she practiced every single day. And a month later, she engaged me second time for, uh, for a second time of a class. So the first time now she learned basic makeup, second time now she learned the evening look. And I saw the transformation and I'm like super proud of her. And this is the highlight area where I was sharing how with and without lashes makes a difference. So this side is where I actually put on mascara and coat my lashes. So it's like a, a, a before and after kind of thing. Yes, right. So I'm sharing about having lash extension for brides on the actual day 
or even for events, uh, some uh, great tips and videos I saw. So this is a lash look, service, and also the lashes are mine. They are all mine. They are not like an uh, add-on. Yeah. So, retention alert for um yeah this is uh another one which is the makeup artist top six mentioned in Singapore um regarding um the look the trend for this year two zero two zero in her world I think it's her world magazine. Wonderful. Yeah. So, what about uh, the what about any like uh, more direct tips for parents to go uh like to assess your beauty tips. Okay. Um, okay, actually, I do have over here, which I'm actually setting up for lindalinomakeup.com. Mm -hmm. I do have um, products that I recommend and use. And also with uh, Lindaly with Love, it would be an, a personal account that I'm in the midst of setting up right now. Uh, learning for me is my journey to beautiful life um, with, from within, inside out. So um, inner health, beauty, everything, it will be more concentrated in that account. So you guys can actually follow me here and then go to here to, to go for makeup tips. And uh, for products wise, things that I recommend would be via this website, which I am actually currently revamping. New products coming in next month. I'll be selling directly on the website where you can check out. So it's like a one-stop service for things that I recommend. And uh, I, I swear on it. <laughs> so this is some of the devices. So basically on this page is a mix of um, different things. With, Wonderful. Yeah, and here is a teeth whitening product that I, it's from Australia, one of the top selling brands, Glow, Quite Glow. Yeah, this is some of the work, commission work that I've done at uh, Nerdy Noodles at this restaurant in Bugis. Uh, here's uh, one of the commercials. Health and fitness is something I'm passionate about. This is one with Alan Wu, the TFX. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this and seen this at in mm -hmm. the train station all over. Yeah, Simone Hin, the DJ, and this is an LG event. And then... Uh, yeah, this is for another makeup brand, advertisements. This is the Changi Airport advertisement that I believe wow. we need in. Amazing. Yeah, and it seems like you are in, in all places. Yes, in the Dance MV, and I'm, I'm not sure if the mom, <laughs> the ladies will know him. Uh, Fernando, this is Zheng Huang, this is Kelly, and this is another influencer, and that is Jimmy Thank you. Yeah, so um, this is a Chanel, yeah, Chanel event with the rest of the influencer. Wow. And uh, so some of my bride is the, during the Trump team summit, the when Singapore was the host, so when it flew down, they got me as the makeup artist for the anchors. Um, and this is the Johnny Walker by... I would mm. say, yeah, Alonso. He is a very cool um, person, very zen guy. Uh, so you went down to do his makeup? Yes, yes when he was in wow. the F1 race. So we went to the Intercontinental, uh, Intercontinental Hotel where he stays to shoot for him. Yeah. Splendid. Yeah, yes. so there's a Samsung, Samsung ad, uh, a lot of big brands. Um, even uh, uh, this is Robinson's, uh, some Valentine's Day ads. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah, so parents, uh, if you think that uh, you're interested to follow Linda, you can go to her Instagram and your Instagram is slash Linda Lino dot makeup. Yes, want... Linda Lino dot makeup. 
Yes, I will post this inside the description, and this is for parents who are interested to get to to know uh, your work. And probably, uh, if they have any question, they can actually contact you through your Instagram. Yes, yes, I do occasionally share all this. So as you can see, like the the lipstick um, number, the brand, all the links are here. Haircut from which I love um, because of my studio, Jasmine. Uh, love Bonito is one of my favorite too. Yeah. Wonderful. And okay, so we have come to uh, almost the end of the sharing. And for parents, if you're still online with us, I really thank you. Uh, now is the best time to ask any more questions before we do a wrap up. And in fact, some of the mummies are asking me if if uh, if I'm the debating away from math and going to makeup industry and probably soon I'll be selling bags and cosmetic. Uh, parents know I'm not, I'm still doing math. Yeah, I'm still doing math. And the reason why I bring Linda up is because uh, I can see from her Instagram, she has so much experience. And in fact, Linda is a highly sought after makeup artist. And um, I know that today you just came back from work. And the next moment is you are sitting right here preparing for this, this sharing right you you rush back right and you rush back and then you Linda can you hear me yes 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 yeah so uh if you have any question just feel free to to, to ask her because we want to um give back to the community and we know that many there are many moms in fact 85 percent of our Facebook group parents are are mommies yeah so we thought this would be something interesting for you and it's also a good opportunity for me, uh, for the men like myself, to get to better understand our wives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Linda, um, you have shared so many tips. So, what would be one essential tip that that uh, you think that our mummies can can use right now? Tips can use right now. Probably uh, can stop share screen and then you just come back. Full screen. To... Mm. Take your time. Ah, well done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I would think the biggest tip right now is actually to follow me <laughs> so that I'll share more information over there. And I'm more than happy to answer any question that you guys throw to me on IG over time. Uh, because, um, if there is, I find that if there's enough concern too, I would create a proper video to address it, especially for y'all, if you are interested. And um, occasionally, I can also hold like um, other live sessions for on-the-spot Q&A um, answers, uh, maybe once a month or so. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I believe that nowadays, uh, you can even do Instagram live to share with your followers. Yes, yes, yes. To answer questions also on the spot live. And um, yeah, with the upcoming, I'm actually also investing in a better camera, like <laughs> for a better visuals so that you can actually see much better um, content when I do make a demonstration, so on and so forth. Yes. Thank you so much. And in fact, uh, just now, the highest number of views um, of live, viz, live viewers is about 17. And we do have some parents um, like Kiali, and she thank you for the session as well. My pleasure, my pleasure. And we have our, um, she's a teacher that I really respect and her name is Olive. Yeah, and she knew that. <laughs> she also thank you for the tips. Yes, yeah, she said that her hair looks untamed when she come online. Yes, uh, definitely. I'm not sure about her habit. Like, does she wash her hair and not blow dry before she sleeps? Or does she wash her hair in the morning when she wakes up? It also makes a difference. Whether, yeah, whether it's, and, and also the hair length, it also makes a difference. Yeah, if you're having short hair, it's, it's really hard to tame. So you need to style your hair every time. Yes, if it's long, you can at least tie up to a ponytail. My, my hair length now is around here. So I just tie to the back and it forms, looks as if it's a bun. But it's really quick for me. Yeah, So, but when my hair is short, it seems easy. But 
I always need to start it. If not, it goes for many directions. Yeah, it's always hard work, but um, I find that it's it, you're showing people that you take care of yourself and you are taking the session or meeting seriously. So I find it adds a lot of points to individuals when you do that. Yes, and I totally agree with you. And as a parent myself, and after having worked with thousands of, of moms, um, I know that sometimes when a lady um, puts in some effort to make up and and she and actually she becomes more radiant and confident. And I always believe that confident parents raise up confidence uh, kids. Yes. And I believe that when the person is neatly groomed, need not to be glamorously groomed, neatly groomed, it brings luck. <laughs> it's like the energy, the vibe you stand out. If it's pleasant, good looking, you get good vibes also. Yeah. I strongly wow. believe in that. <laughs> yes. And all the money will flow towards you. Yes. The, the law of attraction. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. Yes, and I think it's also a very good reminder for guys like me who doesn't spend much time to, to look good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I know that you have a long day and, uh, and I think that you should rest also. Okay, two quick things um, to wrap up. I have left your Instagram account link and your email address in the comment as well mm -hmm. and in the description. Yeah, so parents, uh, if you want to contact Linda, because you have some specific questions for your own needs, uh, you can contact her then. And here comes a question that I always ask my guest before we end off the sharing, because uh, we are in a Facebook group for parents who teach their children math. Okay. Okay, so let's say now, you are walking down backward to the memory lane uh, going back to your younger days. Yes, now you are very successful in your own rights. Now, imagine you walk back your memory lane and you saw the 12-year-old 12 12 Linda. You can see her face, you can almost feel her, and she's looking back at you. What will you tell her? Follow your heart and be the best in whatever you do. There's no right or wrong. Do what makes you happy. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, because nowadays the generation, it's no longer a, a, a structured routine step by step. I feel that if a certain thing that I love, if I've started earlier and specialized in it, because with the social media platform nowadays, I find everyone, anyone with skill, with talent, it will be seen by everyone around the world. It's fair. It's a very fair platform. Yeah. So I just would tell myself to whatever you choose to do, work hard and be the best at it. And no one's going to judge you. Yeah. Fantastic. Anything else to add on? Hmm. I think that would be all for me. Yes. All right, Linda, thanks so much for being here. Uh, don't go off first. I will just stop the Facebook uh, live stream. Okay, for parents, uh, I, and I hope that you have benefited from Linda's teaching. And in fact, she's also a teacher. She's also a makeup instructor. Yeah, so, so I hope that you benefited from her. And, and I hope that you like our first community events that um, helps mummies to look more radiant and also hopefully this will bring you more luck in your career or whatever you do yeah. okay see you take care bye bye